Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. I've got a super interesting little exercise for you guys. Well, I have this particular field here which has um, name and last name somewhere in this mess of a data that is a developer. I know that you're going to spend so much time just cleaning the data and you think everything is sunshine and rainbows till you look at the data and it's just mush just mush exactly like how it is outside here mush everywhere it's like two days after the snow everything is melted and you just can't get the things that you want so in this particular field i have names somewhere hidden with in this messed up data and the exercise is to pull out the first name and last name i'll tell you that this is super simple i mean i'm sure you guys are experts and you can do it um in super simple ways um this is just one exercise i thought i would give you guys a challenge and um, the file is down below download have a run at it and then type in the comments your solution and what we're going to learn in this video is different functions that um, is actually super useful for data cleaning so we're going to use right we're going to use left we're going to use length we're going to see how index works and how subfield works. And using a combination of those uh, functions, we're going to extract the names from this um, unclean data that we have and extract the first name and last name and put it like this in a nice, beautiful way. If you're interested, stick around. But otherwise, just download the file and have a go. Good luck. So when we load the file, this is how it looks like. So we have a bunch of digits in the beginning. Um, it says 3453 XY32. And then there's a name here. And then there's a full stop and another set of alphabets. So step one, let's look at subfield. Well, I have another video on subfield. But let's use subfield and separate this into um, just by taking out this last name that is there. And this should be our after name. So let's just save it as a different one. So let's see how to use subfield here for, for in-depth on how to use subfield. Well, look at my other video. But here, what we're going to do is we're going to say subfield. And what do you want to run the subfield function on? That is my field called object ID. That's the name of the column that we have. And we put a comma and say, what is our separator here? So let's look at the data again. And I want to pull out this last name that's there. And that's after a full stop. So our separator over here is a full stop. So I'm going to say, full stop is my separator so you're telling the subfield function that hey go through this column called object id and wherever you find a full stop so this becomes number one that is everything before your separator becomes one and the other the next part is number two and so we're going to say hey pull out whenever you find the separator pull out the second part of it and i'm going to name this as last name and we're going to run it here so it looks like it's actually worked so now let's go one step ahead so let's look at two functions here called left and right so what does left do so what left does here is pulls out how many ever digits you actually tell click to extract so we could say from the left pull out four or in this case let's say six digits so let's see how that works out Let's put six as left. So now you see that it's actually pulled out six digits from here. Um, it's still not helping us. Let's look at what does right do. It's the same thing, but click starts from the right side. And just like left, what right does is pulls out a certain amount of characters that you tell click to pull out. So if you run right for six digits, it looks like this. So it's just extracting six from the right. Now let's look at another function called length. So what length does is it looks at 
the entire string that you have and it gives you the length of the string and let's save this to length and see how that looks now what length has done is it's counted the total number of characters in my field and it's actually given me the value right so let's look at one last function before we put it all together and actually use it to clean the data set that we have and that function is called index so what does index do well what index does is you can actually tell it to look at a particular field to find the first instance of a particular occurrence that you want for example over here you see that i have some digits and then i have x y 3 2 i could maybe use that as hey give me the first instance of click is going to do is it's going to look at my field and it's going to tell me where it finds this first occurrence here so let's see what that gives us what i've done is i've said index for my field object id and index wherever you find x y 3 2 so what's happening here is click is going to look at it from the left so index runs from left to right so it looks at 3453 x uh-huh so x y 3 2 uh, it's actually found it so it says one two three four fifth that's where x starts so x starts in the fifth digit here so it it actually shows you five and now you know the length and now you know where your x y starts so maybe you could use these two in combination to pull your first name out don't you think so so what we're going to do is start with write and we're going to say write of our object id so how many characters we don't really know because each name has different amount of um, uh, different lengths right so how do we find that out first well so we could use the function length to find out the entire length of this particular uh, field and then we could use index to find the starting position of this xy here and then ask click to only bring in the right values here so first we take the length and then we minus our index position here, which leaves us everything after x, y. And then we tell click just to pull whatever's to the right of it. Let's see how that works. So now we have right object ID. How many characters? Is it four? Is it five? Is it six? We don't know. Well, the amount of right that I wanted to pick is nothing but the length of this field. Well, it can have various lengths, right? So the length of the field minus index of the starting position. So the total length minus this position is gives us the remaining of the name. So we say index object ID comma. What are we indexing? In this case, it was X, Y index only works on your first occurrence. So it gives you the first position. So now we say index and then we close it remove first characters so it looks like our function is actually working but you know what now length in this case 22 minus 5 well we're left with the rest of it because 5 is the position here that is 1 2 3 4 that's the fifth position where x y 3 2 starts but we don't want this y32 as well right so maybe since this is common for all the columns we could just tell click hey index this particular position but also remove some more that is remove one two three three characters more and that we could just do by adding an extra minus three so now we're telling click hey get all the things that are right to this and what is this well the total length minus wherever you find this x y minus another three that should be the tot that should be the starting character of the name hence bring that so let's see if it works and now when the load is completed this should disappear perfect so now we have 
click which has found out the starting position of this name over here that's great so now we have found out what is the name and we have extracted the name out of it and the next next step is to just use a subfield function to take out the second name and rename it well for that case we could once we have already loaded this so this has to be an alternative load and let's keep all of it and here we use what we have just done that is remove first characters and we use our subfield for this particular field that we just created so we say subfield of what is our separator it is dot and what do we want well we want the first part of it and we rename it as our and then we do the same thing and say we want the second one now so we are first doing this load removing the first characters in this operation and then in the next subsequent load we are using subfield well we could maybe combine all of it in the same step right put the subfield exactly over here so subfield is remove first characters but how do you get this particular field by doing this operation so i'm just gonna copy this and paste it here so now essentially we have done a subfield whatever is the output over here and then look at your separator as a full stop and then bring out the first one and that is your first name and let's do the same thing for last name as well in this case we don't need a subsequent load so we have saved one load over here looks complicated but because we did it step by step super simple right so let's just load it so essentially from this super messed up data we have extracted the first name and last name just by doing a couple of simple simple operations I hope this is super helpful. Well, um, data cleaning is a pain in fill in the blanks, right? Um, but Click has a lot of functions that is super helpful. And uh, so if you have a simpler method to extract uh, the name, write down below. It would be super cool to see your solutions. See you in the next one. Peace.